Hi everyone, it's Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles and the mini tarot forecast this week for the uh, Earth signs and that's for Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo and I'm using the Green Witch Tarot so I'll show you those um, look. I'm using the Green Witch Tarot there you go um, and we'll see what message comes out for you so starting off with um, Capricorn um, and here we go I'm just going to close my eyes. Capricorn, what you got? The Nine of Wands. Okay, so this card gen generally indicates that, you know, there's another hurdle that you need to get through, that you've been through um, an awful lot of different uh, challenges of late and you've managed to get through but then something else has come up <laughs> this is showing that you do have the fortitude and the strength to move forward with it if you don't get um, yourself worried or stressed um, but you're just taking that one step at a time to move forward I also feel that there's something to do with a move or a new location that may be coming up on the horizon maybe not this week but very quickly so if that's something that you've been focusing on as well or been wanting, then this is showing you that that's going to take place. So seize those opportunities when they come forward. There's also a sense that you feel a little bit lost within yourself too. Um, maybe there's some sort of situation that's taken place and um, it's sort of upsetting you uh, or been upsetting to you. And now it's just saying it's time to let all that go. Um, try not to um, overburden yourself with too many different things and don't wear yourself out with too many different um, activities either it's time to to sort of pace yourself as you move forward um, I also feel that your own skills are going to be the most success for you so something to do with your interests and hobbies will be something that you can then later on bring um, you know more fulfillment into your life or just a different um, career choice okay so if you've been contemplating studying or getting into something different this is also saying that although it would be difficult at times that you have the tenacity to finish it and see it through too so a good work a uh, good work a good week for you and uh, some new things coming your way um, but just just remember when you see that sort of block in front of you don't worry it's going to pass you'll get through it okay so that's the message for Capricorn um, and then for Taurus okay Taurus you got the world tree which is um, yeah it's it's the world okay the world tree it's a little bit different than um, traditional uh, tarot cards this so it's sort of saying here that you are in a new position now there are things that um, have changed for you and you're moving into this new position it's also showing that there is a connection is it like is that a geese or something I'm not sure what that bird is um, but there's a connection with birds maybe you're getting messages from birds um, as well um, you know if anything with feathers maybe butterflies and things like that you've been seeing a lot of there's just new things coming your way um, there's some of the old things that are still um, bothering you maybe you're worrying about things but you know your way forward you know um, what you need to be doing um, and you need to stay focused too uh, there are some different things going on for you. There are some challenges coming up um, in the near future and you know you'll just have to use all that inner strength and knowledge that you already have to get through that as well. I feel that there's something um, you know something that's shifting inside of you and uh, it's, it's either going to um, be a benefit to you if you let it or, or maybe it will start pulling you backwards a little bit. So you need to watch for those things too. Um, I'm also feeling that someone who, um, because I'm seeing the snake here um, in the picture, I always see the snake as somebody who's not exactly how they seem, you know, um, maybe something in the, like something's working against you um, that you're not aware of or someone is working against you that you're not aware of. 
So make sure that you're protecting yourself as you're moving forward, um, because you deserve to have, um, you know, you deserve to have happiness and you deserve to have peace in your life. So don't always think that you're deserving the wrong things to happen to you. But if you don't trust somebody or you've got a feeling um, about someone, and I would say that this is more generally uh, a male type of person, then if you don't trust them, you know, you need to listen to that. If something is off, you need to listen to that. Okay, I feel this is someone who's relatively new in your life. This is not somebody who um, you've known for a while, okay? But with this, you know, you've got two ways to go. You're either going to um, keep on moving ahead with what you want to do, um, you know, with your own skills and your own talents, or you'll hold yourself back a little bit. And the message from this card is not to do that. Don't hold yourself back. Um, don't give in to, um, you know, negative sides. Pay attention to your dreams as well. Um, pay attention to the symbology like around you, um, special things coming your way as well, um, you know, to help you through. So there you go, Taurus. Um, hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, don't forget, you know, um, your, own, your own strength, okay? And protect yourself as well, all right. And um, for Virgo now as well, here we go. All right, Virgo. Okay, what you got here? The Ten of Wands. All right, Virgo. So this is showing that you um, are tending to feel a lot of responsibility on your shoulders at the moment. Um, it seems to be like there's, you know, you're feeling like you're on this never-ending journey and it's a long um, stretch ahead, but things are changing. Now you just need to be careful, Virgo, that you haven't brought a whole lot of stuff on your own shoulders. Um, maybe you've been saying things that are not like you, or you've been mentioning things that um, you know you wouldn't ordinarily do. There's something that's weighing heavily on you that perhaps you feel deep inside that um, you know you shouldn't have done or um, you shouldn't have said kind of thing. But you need to put that behind you and you really need to forgive yourself. There's a real sense of forgiveness here. Um, forgive yourself for any mistakes, forgive other people for what they've done and know that everyone's just trying to do the best that they can to move forward. And sometimes misunderstandings happen um, when there hasn't been any real communication, you know. Um, you know, if people aren't talking to you properly, but you know, there's stuff all over Facebook or stuff like that, that's, that's not good communication. So many things can get misrepresented, um, you know, or misconstrued on, on, you know, social media and stuff as well, as, as we know. But keep moving ahead, because as you can see, you're, I mean, you're at the bottom now, so it seems, but you're heading up here, where it's full of light, if you can see. It's like full of light, and, you know, you're heading on the right path to that to take place for you. And the chipmunk or the squirrel or whatever he is there is saying to you that there's some extra messages um, coming your way too um, and you know to store things and to um, keep things safe and look after yourself as well um, on every level if you've had health concerns and things you know it's time to go and see someone maybe someone different maybe someone natural that can help you you know um, get you through as well Try not to put everything on your shoulders or blame yourself for everything. This is a big no-no. Um, just try to keep yourself in balance and know that you know um, things are going to change and you're going to move into this new um, life and it's going to be easier when you get there, okay? So be careful with yourself. Just be gentle to yourself and, um, we'll, we'll, and see what happens, okay? And that is the message for you. Um, so thank you so much, all the Earth Signs, for listening. Um, and until the next video, and the next uh, one I'm going to do is going to be about the month of May. Um, so until, the, until then, wishing you all the um, very best, and goodbye for now. Bye.